Well, we're dealing with several issues out there on the water after a 110-foot barge capsized off the coast of Port Huron. Let's take another look from Chopper 7 above Lake Huron just a short time ago. The barge called the Arthur J went down around 4.30 this morning. A tugboat called the Madison also sunk. Coast Guard officials tell us everyone on board appears to have survived. Weather may have played a role this morning, and we understand there's been a fuel spill as well. Let's get to Lieutenant Justin Westmiller from the U.S. Coast Guard. He's on the phone with us. Hey there, Lieutenant. What can you tell us about the situation out there on the water right now? Hi, Michael. Basically, right now, we've got a potential for 8,300 gallons, and the owner, MCM Marine, has told us that they believe that 1,500 to 2,000 gallons was on board at the time of the incident. Um, marine pollution control was hired by the vessel's owner to conduct the uh, environmental response, and they are on scene with us and our local partners to uh, conduct the cleanup. How big of an environmental issue could this be out there? We're conducting our assessments at this point, and we're working to create the response plan to mitigate the impacts. And let's back up just a bit. What caused the barge to go down in the first place? Do we know? That right now is under investigation. So uh, we're looking into to what may have caused it. What, what were the weather conditions like early this morning? The weather conditions out there at 430, it was 10 to 15 mile an hour winds and the seas were four to six feet. And how many people were on board and were they all accounted for immediately? What's their status? There was nobody on board the Arthur J or the Tug Madison. Everybody on scene, they were on board another tug that was towing both vessels, the Drummond Islander 2. And everybody was, uh, everybody on board was fine. And what were these uh, barges doing out there this morning? What was their role out there? They were in transit. Um, there was, they were basically traveling down towards the river system in Lake St. Clair, or Lake Huron, heading towards the St. Clair River. And with the situation like it is right now, has commercial shipping been affected at all? No, it has not. Okay, and so what's the plan from here on in as we go throughout the day? The plan from here on in is to continue with the cleanup operations and continue with the investigation. And are we talking about some wildlife that could be impacted out there in the water? At this point, there is, there is possibly impact um, on the water but we're going to continue our assessment and, and work to find out what those impacts may be. And the owners of the ships are, are cooperating with the investigation? They are. All right, anything else you'd like our viewers to know at this point? At this point, everybody is working as diligently as possible to, uh, to clean this up as quickly as possible. All right, Lieutenant Justin Westmiller from the U.S. Coast Guard, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, again, two boats capsizing on Lake Huron. This morning, there were no injuries, but there is a fuel spill and a cleanup process well underway. We'll stay on top of this story throughout the day, of course. We're live in the newsroom, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News.